Hey guys, it's Daniel. The following is a clip from my interview with Gorillaz and Muse touring bassist Morgan Nichols. If you want to see the full interview, the link is available below. So, I mean, just circling back to Gorillaz, if you had to compare Matt to Damon, what's similar or what's different about the two of them in terms of their approach to music? Hmm. Uh, I don't know. They're kind of, they're, they're both singers. That's about as all well. <laughs> they've both got the same traits as being sort of frontmen um, and singers. And they're right up. They're both very comfortable in that, in that position. Um, from a songwriting point of view, I think Matt's probably just a bit more technical, really, I would say. And um, as far as his uh, understanding of, which probably comes from being a classical, you know, being able to play classically, sort of, you know, um, um, and he can score and he can do all, all that side of things, you know. So I think from a technical point point of view, um, it's probably a bit bit deeper, I would have thought. But but they're both you know both great songwriters in their own way. Well, they're just very different. You know, one's very very much a technical um, and you know um, very sort of clinical in their in their playing. And um, whereas Damon's a bit more got a free and free and easy approach. We're, not to say that it's sort of loose in any way, but it's generally it's just a bit yeah a bit more um, vibey, I would say. He comes from a bit more of a vibey, sort of uh, funky sort of feel about things, um, to a degree, I would say. Uh, that kind of makes it sound like it's just loose and it's a bit of a free fall, but it's not. It's all kind of everything's as it is, but as it should be. Um, and it's very, it's, it's all very well arranged. You know, there is no, there's not too much mucking about on either on from either side of it. But me, is the way that they play is kind of like a machine, really. Mm. Uh, they very rarely um, play anything out of place. It's like, you know, it's album take every time, pretty much. Mm -hmm. How would you compare the gorillas preparing for a show to Muse? Like, how similar or different would that be? Uh, Muse is a bit more, um, well, it's a bit more techie. Uh, a bit more techie and a little bit looser. Uh, a bit um, Gorillaz is a bit more loose in, in terms of, Bit of a free fall, and uh, and, and um, especially the, the demon days. To, we we were all kind of mates anyway, so um, we everyone knew everybody else in some sort of shape or form. Um, which on 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 one hand is, is a lot kind of a lot more fun and a bit more um, relaxed. Um, whereas the muse muse thing is a bit more um, straight down the line regimented. It's it's a kind of a tight ship. Um, as far as uh, and technically a lot more demanding. So what, and what I have to do is, is a is a whole nother world. It's a, it's um, with the gorillas I just play bass and that was it. Um, but the uh, but with music I, I play um, it's um, uh, keyboards, synthesizers, vocoders, percussion. You know, guitar. It's like all singing, all dancing. You know, so it's quite a lot. It's, for my side of it, it's a bit more demanding. One of the, th the thing that's really interesting about your relationship with Muse is that although I guess you're technically not an official member, you kind of are. You know how the band writes music and prepares music? Like, how do they do the creative process? Uh, well, Matt is very much the, the the main sort of. So he's a main songwriter. He's he's in, he's he's a kind of a unique character, really, in that. Um, He's uh, yeah, he, he's got a very clear idea of what he what he wants, and and the songwriting. I think Chris does a bit. A bit I mean, they all do their own, bring their own thing to the table, but it's very much Matt's um, uh, bag, really. Yeah, hmm. interesting. Um, and and he, and, he, and he plays everything. I mean, Matt just plays everything very well, better than most people uh, in most bands. You know, he's uh, yeah, very talented guy.